morning. I'm Avery. And I'm Liam with your morning announcements for Monday, August 26th. There will be a softball call-out meeting for any freshman that is interested in playing softball this upcoming spring. It will be today at 11 a.m. outside the AD office. The boys and girls cross-country teams beat North and South Decatur but lost to Batesville in their first meet of 2019. Top 10 finishers for the boys included Hunter Butts, 7th, Andrew Johnson, 8th, and Jonathan Ralston, 9th. Brainer Hanna won the girls' race, Emily Mangles was 4th, and Liz Pavey took 5th. Anyone interested in helping cleaning up after the football games, please come to the athletic office. You do, you do get paid to help clean up. Now to Ellie with your weather. Today will be rainy with a high of 71. Tomorrow there will be thunderstorms with a high of 79. And Wednesday it will be sunny with a high of 77. Now back to your announcements. Jostin Senior meeting today, 1030 to 1113. Jostin Senior order during lunch Thursday, September 5th. The Rotary has one available open, opening for a student to attend their leadership camp this fall, October 18th through the 20th. Now to Ellie with your sports. Today there is boys tennis at home versus Jennings County, girls golf at home versus Connorsville, volleyball at home versus Batesville, cross country at Shelbyville, and JV football at Shelbyville. Now back to your announcements. Any sophomores or juniors who might be interested interested in applying may fill out an application located in the school counseling office. The application deadline is due by Wednesday, September 4th. All seniors eligible to participate in earning a governor's work ethics certi certification need to hand in their blue paper to the counseling office by the end of school on Wednesday. There will be a Champions Together meeting on Wednesday, August 28th at 715 in the library. Attention students, today through August 29th, please Check your G Gmail for a link to nominate students from your class to be the, on the homecoming court. Now to Ellie with your lunch. Today's lunch is meatball sub, waffle fries, and cooked carrots. Now back to your announcements. Did you know that eating breakfast had, has been linked to higher math and reading scores? Eating breakfast can also improve attention and problem solving abilities. Eating breakfast at GHS just got easier. Starting August 26th, there will be a breakfast cart in the lower lobby. This cart will allow students waiting in the lobby to purchase some breakfast items. The items range from donuts to juice and yogurt. Items should be consumed in the lobby and trash disposed of properly. A cashier will be available to charge your items to your prepaid lunch accounts or accept cash payments. The cafeteria will st still serve a warm breakfast. Please see Connie Millen if you have any questions. Remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Any juniors who did not receive fundraiser order forms should see Mrs. Covington. All orders are due back by Tuesday, September 10th. All profits earned from the sale go towards prom. The more you sell, the better your prom can be. Have a great day and make sure to follow us on Twitter and Snappy Chat at GCHS Pirates and listen to GTV Radio on Live 365.